Welcome to Woodshop 101, a woodworking audio podcast geared toward the hobby weekend woodworker. Your hosts for the show are Jeremy Crawford and Drew Shore. Join these two different craftsmen for a lighthearted banter about everything woodworking, online education, and how they produce content. Topics could include the latest news, tips, tricks, and designs to include furniture, crafts, and shop projects. Welcome to Woodshop 101, where everything is made up and the points don't matter. Now meet the yin and yang of woodworking and the lady that keeps them in line, Jeremy, Drew, and Sam. Welcome to Woodshop 101. This is episode 101 for October 9th, 2017. On today's show, we're going to reminisce over the last 100 episodes. I'm Jeremy Crawford of the Countryside Workshop, and I'm joined today by my co-host Sam Waddell, Sam Ryan Designs, and Drew Short of Rock and H Woodshop, or Hard Shop, however you want to. <laughs> Hard Shop. <laughs> How are you guys tonight or today? It's it's daylight out, so I'm not sure what while we're recording. I know it's <laughs> yeah, weird. True. <laughs> and just for the record, only Sam can call me Hard Shop. Yes. You can't do that. Oh. My special. That's that's, My special, that's your uh, pet name. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, we also want to thank our amazing, amazing Patreons: Michael Brindle, Devin Richter, Sean McHenry, Derek Ledesma, Carl Mose, and Neil Sins. Thank you guys so much, and you guys are amazing, and we love um, all of our patrons. So, thanks for helping us get to 101. Yeah. Neil Sims is new, right? Yeah, that, that's a new name. Yep, this is this is Neil Sims' uh, first show to be supporting, so we appreciate mm-hmm. it. Also, if you want to support the show, you can head over to www.woodshop101podcast.com slash listen. The show notes for today's episode will be there and links for small one-time donations and reoccurring donations. If you want to become a patron to our Patreon campaign, then head over to patron.com slash woodshop101. You can also buy an awesome Woodshop 101 podcast t-shirt or our new amazing rev markers. Um, you can head over to countrysideworkshop.com slash shop to get those items. Tweet. Awesome. Yeah, I yeah. I'm waiting on my rev markers. Yeah. I know. Well, Don't <laughs> you worry. I'll be taking a picture with writing, and then I'm going to yeah. tell everyone. The, the postman will be picking them up tomorrow, so y'all should have them in a, in a couple days. Perfect. So, I mean, we... Before we get into the topic, I guess we can just jump into the that, that what's new. Can you know Sam telling us about those rev markers? Um, by the time they're listening to this, our our weekend uh, launch sale will have been over for free shipping. Um, but we've, I mean, we've already sold um, probably yeah, I think I have ten orders of them going out. Nice. So, and they all came in at like right at the same time on on Friday, and so Very it was cool. like blowing up. I was like, oh man. Although I wasn't like quite ready set up to, to do all the shipping. So I had to, to go out and get, get a scale. I had to go get some ink so I can get, get everything packaged up and sent out to, uh, it'll be in the mailbox today. So it'll be actually shipped tomorrow, um, which at the time would be what the second. So you should all have them. So, um, do we want to, do we want to offer, for people listening, another another sale for them, like 10, 20 percent off, twenty percent off. What would be be a dollar? Hmm. Maybe. What do you think? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Stroking that chin. I know. Hmm. Hmm. I feel like Carrie Owies and you know yeah. men in tights. Hmm. Maybe close to Halloween we can do another sale, a Halloween sale. To a Halloween so yeah there we go we'll put a little pumpkin sticker on <laughs> on all of the yes yes put a pumpkin <laughs> yeah. sticker on the back of each one yeah perfect so yeah be looking for that we'll, we'll definitely be doing another um, sale sale so, on them I know we'll be doing a Black Friday you. sale on on shirts and and uh, markers and anything else that we happen to put our name on over the next uh, month but it's uh <laughs> They're definitely they're definitely cool. I was pretty excited to have them, and I know you guys are, are ready to see them, so y'all will have them soon. 
Yeah. yeah, well, considering I've already got my floor in, that ain't going to help me much anymore. I'll help you with, <laughs> you know, a variety of other tasks. Yeah, you know how much I used that Sharpie marker that I had? It, it went dry by the time I was done. I, I know. I could have I used one of them red markers. Yeah, see, it would still be going strong. Uh-huh. And it would yeah. have our cool logo on the side. Yeah. So you could no, think it, about us. I would probably worn it off. <laughs> I used it so much. All right. Well, uh, kind of like Jeremy said, we are going to reminisce a little bit. Um, we're gonna we're gonna take it down a notch here, and we're gonna reminisce over the hundred episodes that uh, we have had in the past, and just basically talk about our favorite times that we've had, some guest hosts that we've had come on, and. Uh, Unfortunately, Sam hasn't been with us the entire time, so she had to do probably a little research. I don't know if she <laughs> listened to anything or <laughs> some, some, some I've listened to. But when did I hop on? What number? Episode eighty-five. Hang on, <laughs> hang on. I got it right here on my desktop. Hang on. <laughs> You're falling behind, Ep- Sam. Episode I'm way on. behind. Episode yeah. eighty-five was like your official. Um, like, coming on it was your official like show as a co-host i think before that you were on like episode 82 or something um nice i as, think it was earlier than that but i'll have to look as a guest i feel like i was like 77 Here because that, this is like an old that age number thing. yeah <laughs> I but I love it, <laughs> and I wish that I was here for all 101. So I oh no, you don't. With you. Our first episode was pitiful. <laughs> <laughs> you should have listened to our first episode. I actually listened to a little bit of it today, and J- Jeremy and I were just like, "Well, uh, <laughs> what are we going to talk about today?" Yeah, it was pitiful. Okay. Well, that's probably how I sound right now. So, like, episode, episode 78, I think, was your... 77 was your first... Knew it. Um, guest host. Yeah, that was when you first... You guest host 77 and 78, and then, and then you, you came guys on in 85. So much and just had to have me every episode. Yeah. And now y'all yep. are stuck with me. Well, Jeremy and I, we talked for a little bit, like, uh... I think we had John as a guest host once, but right before that, I, I had messaged him. I said, "Dude, what do you think? What do you think about this Sam Ryan designs?" And he said, "You know, I've been actually thinking about her too for a little bit, just to see if you know what she fit like." And yeah, that's when we invited John as a guest host, and then yeah, but if you don't remember, we, she dodged us for how many episodes? Because right, she <laughs> came on for seventy eight and 70, 77 to seventy eight, but then she didn't come back on again until eighty five. So, well, I still loved you guys. I just couldn't how many, record before this. How many times did we ask you to come on? You're like, yeah, uh, <laughs> I get, I, I'm doing this or I'm doing that. Like, like, oh man, I don't even. I don't, I don't think she's even gonna want to come on as a as a permanent permanent co-host now. <laughs> well, look at now, y'all are stuck with me. So yeah, let's just what? say we were worried for a little bit. Well, now I'm here, so no need to worry. But who was it other than me, I know, who was your favorite co-host that came on or guest host that came on? Um, I know it's me, but maybe you're second. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just kidding. (laughs) Well, go ahead, go ahead, dude. I mean, I don't don't know. I would say the... we our very first guest host. Do you remember who it was? He's, you know. Yeah, it's Nick. Yeah. So listen, here's a snippet from from Nick's losing sleep, but you know he's passionate about woodworking. So it's it, it's a good trade off. You know, you're not gonna you know purposely lose sleep to do your taxes. I I don't think anybody would. But <laughs> so <laughs> that that was episode three, and mm-hmm. so that was back in. Pff, 2015 like early 2015 march yeah. march 4th so wow that uh so a little context to that is talking about like f- forcing yourself out in the shop and and forcing like youtube content um and like losing sleep over it and then not being not not being passionate about it and drew had said that you know he loses sleep over it but he's passionate about it 
and so that that was that was Nick talking about that like you're not you're not going to lose sleep over doing your taxes because you're not passionate about doing your taxes. <laughs> so oh, I lose sleep if I don't prepare my taxes. He was he was our first one. Um, I would say, man, I don't know. I can't pick a favorite. I I know Mark Spagnolo came on um, episode. Seven, I think. Like six or seven? Yeah, it's, let's see. I think seven. Seven, yep. Right. Mark's Naked Thursdays. That's yeah. that's a title. So <laughs> I got another snippet of here from Mark. I tried to find the snippet about him talking about, I don't remember, it was something about like him being, like, being in the shop naked on Thursday <laughs> or something. Like, I don't know how we got on that, but I couldn't find it without listening to the whole episode, and I didn't have enough time to, to listen to it. But here's, here's another good good point that he brought up in it. Uh, but that said, if those tools that are required to make those joints aren't accessible to you, then think about the pocket screw method. There is nothing wrong with using pocket screws. Uh, th- at this point in a woodworker's development, successes are the most important things. And whether you, who cares what kind of joinery you use to get there? Get a successful project built get it in the house so your family looks at it and, and cheers you on and you can go on to the next project so i would say he was like when we when we first started talking about guests he was like one of the ones i definitely wanted to have on um and the fact he was i think like our third or fourth guest at the time um mm-hmm. yeah because i think uh david Pachuto was before him I like right before him yeah and at that time, we were only doing every other episode. So if Nick was on three, yeah, then David would have been five. So Mark would have been, been seven. Um, well, I, you know what? To answer your question, Sam, in fact, our favorite guest before you would have been Sam. Because yeah. we yeah, asked she, her. She was on the she show. Was on the show. She was a, a co-host. Um, you guys got stuck with two Sams. Yeah. Two yeah. awesome things. And I, I picked out another. So so I went through and got some some snippets. And this is a snippet from her first show that was like her first official show that we invited her on after her guest appearance. No, I'm much glad you guys weren't sick of me yet from the last podcast. Hey. Happy to be back. I mean, look, it's, you're setting records. Setting <laughs> records. That's all that matters. We had to take some ibuprofen and stuff just to get over the last time. But, you know, we, we finally got over it, and we're good. <laughs> and we're good. So that was, I remember saying that was her theme. It was, like, always setting records. <laughs> yeah, like, that's what, uh, that, yeah, right? Because she was talking about, um, there's a whole bunch of other things, but she was like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll be your first. In fact, she was the first guest host to come on a second time. Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's what it led to, and then it led to uh, Drew proposing to her and her coming on. Uh, I, I would say a sad date, though, was a day that she told us she was leaving uh, mm-hmm. for school, and that was in, like, August. I think her last show was August of last year. So that was... Uh, they, it, after having a three-personality show and, like, everybody responding to it, it was hard to go back to a two personality show and i think that's when we decided and lose a cute girl yeah, and, the and, yeah there we go so <laughs> on an on an audio podcast yeah, yeah. on but, an audio podcast <laughs> um so i think that's when we decided to bring on guest hosts every every week right and did when we did i don't remember we said we were going to have on a guest host for four episodes at a time right and we and that we did a couple had, a couple people came on four times. I think, yeah. Todd, I think Todd Clippinger came on four times. There was a, yep. a few others. Um, and then it was just like, yo, there's so many people we want to talk to. I that, know. That it went to just coming on, on to two shows so we could uh, try to get through people. And now it's just like, hey, you know, what initially started as like, let's do an every other week thing kind of, I feel like, became our niche of like getting – guest host on every single show mm-hmm. just to get a different a different uh perspective on things and i love that i love talking to new people there's so many people out there and i have a list of different people that i've stumbled upon on instagram that i would love to talk to so you better keep that list handy i will <laughs> i would say I'm that keeping I, it handy that's the that's the thing is like we have so many 
um, like people we want on, and it's just like trying to get them scheduled. I, I think at one point we had uh, guest hosts scheduled out for like two months, oh, right? Yeah, I was just gonna say so, two months. Yeah, and and we will do that again. But coming up around the holidays, it's gonna be hard to to get four people on the same mm-hmm. schedule. So I think we're gonna have to kind of fly. We're gonna have Gramps. Yes. Gramps is gonna come on. Yes, we have to discuss when when he's coming on. Yeah, because he will probably be my favorite guest host. Even over yeah, the year. <laughs> it surpasses Sam. Yeah. You might watch oh, out because no. he might steal your spot on the show. I know. <laughs> I know. He, he very well Especially could. Especially if we get Congo Squares. Congo Squares. Well, it's funny because I was talking to my grandma and I was like, when we do the podcast, we'll have it scheduled. And like a week in advance, we're going to send you guys pod uh, Congo Squares in the mail. Hopefully they stay good. And then you can eat them while we're on the podcast. So be expecting. What? What so. did we? T- we talked about the other day through text. Uh, what else okay. were we gonna do while he was on the show? Said we were gonna eat something else, or I don't remember. I don't know, but we're gonna have lots of fun. Gramps is ready. It's so funny. I talked to Lizzie from Sawdust Junkies. <laughs> She was like, I was having an issue the other day, and I just really needed to phone a Gramps. And I was like, you could have. You could have called me. You have my number. <laughs> she was so funny. And all of you out there, if anyone saw my story or their story about me looking like Piper from Orange is the New Black, I don't know if anyone knows that, but we're getting ready to do Jeremy and Drew and who they look like. So that oh, will be Lord. coming up. Hang on. So that why? Will be coming up. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, because they they did do you, and that's right. You look exactly like her. No, I don't. I've gotten a lot of other people, and I've I've gotten Hayden Pintiera or whatever, and the girl, the blonde from Big Bang Theory, Haley Kuko. But I've never gotten Piper or whatever her name is in real life. But just stay tuned. So that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> Drew and Jeremy are up next. That's great. <laughs> and we already have like three people of who you all look like. Oh, awesome. <laughs> They're going to be some side by sides, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Um, but I also have a favorite moment that um, I loved having uh, Sally, uh, Sadie Mae on. But the most hilarious talking about Naked Thursdays was when her husband was standing <laughs> in the window. I think. I remember that perfectly. Yes, yes. that was. <laughs> she was mortified. Oh, she's Lord. amazing. Yeah, and he wasn't just standing in front of the window. He was like posing. He almost had his posing. hand. You know. Yeah, like super <laughs> mixed or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Sadie just looked over his shoulder, like, "Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Shut the blinds! Shut the blinds!" I was so embarrassed. She's awesome, though. She's amazing. So. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't. Uh, talk very long i was in the middle of something and, and i was like say i just can't get over this naked man above your shoulder right in your in your picture <laughs> and she's like what and she looks and she's like oh, that's oh my awesome. god <laughs> that was the best the best <clears throat> so what drew who who was i would say that, yeah i guess you're not necessarily your favorite guest uh, right but what who was one of one of the more interesting ones that you enjoyed? Um, I really liked having uh, Todd Klippinger on. I thought he had a lot of interesting things to say, especially for somebody that's getting into the full-time business, trying to stay afloat whenever it's hard and you know, reaping the benefits on whenever you have a lot of projects to do. Um, I mean, that, that man is just a wealth of knowledge when it comes to that. Um, but another one that I really liked was having Matt Cremona. I, I loved, oh, I loved his, yeah. his laugh was just contagious. And, uh, he, he had that hat on too, that Russian style. I can't remember what he, what it's called, but it, his hat was so big. It like filled up the camera. <laughs> yeah. That is so funny. And then you'd hear him in the background. Just, <laughs> you know, just whatever that laugh was he had. Well, and the fact that he left us a voicemail and was like, oh, oh I, I got to get back to the podcast. I'll call you guys back later. And they never <laughs> called us back. Thanks, never Matt. called back. <laughs> did, he, so, did he even leave us a review? Uh, I don't remember. I'd have to go back and look through them. I, I could have swore he might have he might have left us a review. Yeah. but Yeah, I don't, I don't remember. I mean, 
I, I would definitely say uh, our first episode was 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 pretty uh, epic. I was listening to it today. Um, epic. Yeah, <laughs> epic. it was pretty epic. Like it's. In fact, I think I'm going to do uh, pull pull an pull it out of archive and repost it to iTunes, um, just so people can kind of get a sense of where we started, especially our our newer listeners that haven't necessarily gone back in the archives and listened. Look at your space. So, I, mm, look, I don't want to lose listeners again. <laughs> well, here, let's let's let's, oh, let's take so let's funny. take a listen. Let's let's see how the first uh, thirty seconds or so took off. All right, welcome to Woodshop 101 Podcast. We're an audio podcast geared toward the hobby weekend woodworker. It's going to be hosted by myself, Chairman Crawford, and Drew Short. Drew, how are you doing? Uh, doing pretty good, Jeremy. Nice to be here, man. Yeah. So, uh, Drew, tell us tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, kind of, you know, what makes you tick? <laughs> Well, let's see. Uh, like you said, my name is Drew Short. I live in uh, Moore, Oklahoma. So, a, <laughs> if, you, if you could say a little uptight, it was... Yeah. Yes, you guys sound nervous. I was I like, can, you've never done it before. Which well, we have but... I, mean, I can still tell you, <laughs> yeah. I was sitting out in my shop. I was. It was also free, frigid. Cause it was, we recorded in, like, December or January, right? And yeah, it was, like, late... Late, I think January. Yeah, like we were. It was so cold in my shop. It was like forty degrees, and I'm sitting out in my shop and just like bundled up trying to record. Um, oh, that's awesome! And I finally was like, "Yeah, I'm not doing the skin. I'm not recording out my shop again in the middle of <laughs> in the middle of winter time." Yeah. Well, and so, and another thing, you and I hadn't really talked much at all. No. Before we aired that first show and. How did it was you like guys... two. It was like two strangers meeting for That's the first so time funny. on the show. How did you guys decide to do a podcast? Um, like, did you guys meet on Instagram? Did you meet? No, this was before like Instagram took off. This was like in the height of everybody's trying to get followers on on YouTube. Facebook and and YouTube. Um, no, like. I had started YouTube, but I just couldn't find the time for it. Um, and it, that was like when everybody was was jumping on the YouTube train. I kind of I wanted to do something that that would reach an audience, but reach necessarily at a at, di- at a different level. And most people right. um, can't necessarily. Most people shouldn't watch YouTube while driving, but they can listen to <laughs> audio podcasts. Um, and and this was I probably. For six months, I wanted to do this, and I told myself, I was like, I don't know who I would have come on. So I immersed myself in YouTube um, for six months. I mean, my wife got so tired of it. We woke up to YouTube, went to bed to YouTube. Every waking moment, I was just running through people's channels um, and watching multiples um, videos of theirs and, and trying to figure out like who I thought would be a good personality match. Um, and one person I kept coming back to was Drew. Um, and Yay. so I approached him I, November and December of 2014 um, and was like, hey, what do you think about doing this? Um, he was like, yeah, let's do it. And it took about, uh, we, I think we, we had uh, a couple phone conversations and text message conversations before we recorded, um, but it took about two months to get everything in place um, to, to actually like know how to record, where we're going to publish it, how to get it to iTunes. And get all of that stuff approved, um, and then we sat down and recorded our first one. And at the time, the only the only ones I knew about were um, Wood Talk, um, Modern Woodworkers Association, Shop Talk Live had, was out, but I think at the time had taken a, a break. Um, and then Making It podcast came out. I think they came out in like October or November. Um, with their first episode, and we released like two months after or three months after they did. So, hey. you know, it was very, very new to the game. And since then, there's been tons, tons of podcasts coming out. And it seems like, you know, every month there's like a new one. Some of them haven't lasted, some have dropped off. Um, but I, you know, I think it gives a good testament to, to us that here we are going on um, st- starting what our third, third year? 
Well, yeah, we said, yeah, we started in 2015. So yeah. February of 2015 will, or excuse me, 17 will be three years. 18. Nice. February so, what, 18? Yeah. Or February 2018. February 4th mm -hmm. of 2018 will be three years. February. We'll be going into our fourth year by then. Yeah. So, Wait, so yeah. this year will be three years or four? Starting in, in February will be four mm -hmm. years. We'll be starting our fourth <gasps> year. Cool. We will successfully finish three years starting our fourth. Yeah. Nice. I wrote that down. So yeah, February 4th, I think, is... What, when the first one was published um, first. on the website. Was it the first? Did you go first. back and look at the website? No, I've got it on the podcast app. Okay. So I, yeah. the, the show wasn't... I don't think I published the show notes until, until like the fourth. Here, I can tell you right now. I'm scrolling back. February 3rd is when the show notes were officially published on the drive. So February 1st. And we had delays. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, but I, yeah, I, I remember when you you said, "How's it going, Drew?" I'm like, oh, I'm, "I'm doing pretty good." I'm, yeah. I'm I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing good. You know, I, I didn't know what to say. I didn't have I didn't have my personality developed for the podcast because it's the first time you're just sitting there chatting about nothing. Yeah. So it's like an episode of Seinfeld over here. And <laughs> so, uh, YouTube was a completely different animal, which which I was used to because I'd already been doing it for two years, and. Uh, Coming onto a podcast, it was like I just started my YouTube channel all over again. It was it's strange. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Um, you know, there's definitely there's been growing pains and there's been a lot of changes. Um, I think we've gone through three or four different um, intros to the podcast. Um, one, we had uh, Sam Raimondi on for I, I don't know how long. And I never updated it. And then, like the week before she left, I changed it. I changed the intro to include her. And I'm like, "Are you kidding me? Yeah, Are you yeah. kidding me?" Like, it, oh, and in that state, our sad. intro up until um, a couple months ago, when when we well, I think right right when she came on as as the permanent co yeah, because you, then you we said changed it over. You didn't even have to change anything. Yeah, because my name well, was Sam. You had that that. Uh, other person do the the recording of the intro and it was just Jeremy Drew and Sam and and that was made when Sam Ramondi was still a part yeah, of the show but that was only made like I want to say it was like July of last year when I had it done um, <laughs> and she turned her notice in yeah and then she was like, oh, I'm just... like are you kidding me are you, I just <laughs> I just had this done and now you're gone and I tried to like cut it cut cut it out of the intro and it just didn't have the same like feel to it and so i was like ah, whatever i'll just leave it um and then uh because she never officially said that she wasn't going to come back um and i think you know we finally we decided, hoping. Like, let's let's you're let's hoping get rid of let's, the let's just leave it on yeah yeah it's like maybe if we keep repeating her name she'll feel guilty and let's, like oh, okay i'll come back well it's like I'll back, back. pay i'm back paying her for all the all the months that she was on it, she did have her name in the intro. <laughs> so perfect. Well, do you guys want to add anything else? Um, no. Wait, you know what? Did we did we listen to anything? I think I here we go. Did we listen to anything with with your first show? No. Oh, no. oh God! Please oh, don't yes. listen to it. Yes. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> please no. All right. This is this is her official. Um, first time oh, on, on the show um, as as a co-host. I hate listening to my voice. All right, well, this one's pretty funny. <laughs> Let's see. Hold my arms up like this the whole time, okay? All right, do that. We're already recording. No, we are not. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I, I am. I'm literally recording. <laughs> that was... Me and Holding my arms up in my drinking problem. <laughs> yeah, you were talking about you were talking about sweaty armpits. So yeah, that's why you were talking about holding your armpits up uh, like that. Sweaty armpits. So. <laughs> lovely, lovely, lovely. So it's and, and now now it's so much fun to do just the intros. Just listening to Sam Reed is is hilarious. Know, it, it gets me smiling every time. <laughs> 
So because I'm the it's, worst, it's, and I'm the one that said hard oh. job, the hard yeah. job, <laughs> hard job. <laughs> Well, you said it right first, and then you changed it to hardship. I don't know why. I don't know. Because Drew's always like, just do, you know, just wing it. Just, you know, just do it. Don't read it. And then I'm like, okay, I'm going to, you know, going to read it. And I don't know why it came on out. Hard shot, but it came out hard shot. And I even think I like said his name weird. Drew from. <laughs> or it's either patron or Patreon. Patreon or Patreon. Hey, exactly. Thanks for being our Patreons. <laughs> <laughs> and go to patreon.com. All right, I guys. I've had some issues reading in school, but I'm getting better. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look, here's the thing is maybe you need to just go through and like retype that to like something. Oh, you don't want me to retype it. It would be like not good. I'll just keep reading, you know. You never know what you're going to get or what I'm going to say, so it's entertaining. I like, I like <laughs> how she reads, though. It's, it's, it's like, it's we, like record, we don't know. <laughs> like this. Do I'm you, looking down. Are you looking on your phone? You don't have, like, the... I can't. Oh, you don't have the show notes up on your computer? No. Well, see, I, I used like to... to see well, you guys. No, so I have mine split screen. So, like, half my screen I have... I have you guys, and then on the other half of the screen I have the show notes. And I used to not do it. I used to have them on my iPad. And up until just a couple months ago, I finally was like, hey, I can put them on this other side of my screen and and still be able to see, see well, both. Well, I'll have to do that because I always look down. And for people that can't see, I'm like have my face like really close to the screen and I'm like looking down. <laughs> That's why her intros always sound like, you know, radio recordings because they're <laughs> so close right to my to mic. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we love you all, and thanks for coming or helping us get to 101. Yeah. And can't wait to get to 201. I was about to say, we're going to have to change the name to Woodshop 201. <laughs> yeah. Well, it'll be another uh, year and three quarter before we get, get there if we stay on the track of, of one episode right. a week. Hopefully my uh, reading will Improve. get better by then. <laughs> Has it improved <laughs> since kindergarten? Uh, no. So probably not. <laughs> probably that's not harsh. because that's like a long time. <laughs> like I, I only say that because like my son is super intelligent when it comes to reading. Like he's reading oh, words. I'm like, how do you? I can't True. even read words. And I'm like, how are you reading that? Oh, he's like, oh, that, the kid. No problem. It, I'm like, awesome. It's so funny. <laughs> We're reading books in bed. And Maddie, I'll like read the wrong word or say it wrong, and she's like, "No, it's Tomatoa." I'm like, "All right, chill out." I only know, actually, I know Tomatoa because I've watched Moana like a hundred times. <laughs> but they like correct me. And I'm like, "Oh, you're in kindergarten, and I'm in my twenties. Sweet, I have a kindergartner correcting me." <laughs> <laughs> but so yeah, but we want to remind you guys that you can now purchase. Again, we talked about this in the beginning, a two-pack of our custom Rev markers. So don't forget to go purchase some. You can also purchase a shirt. Um, the link is on countrysideworkshop.com slash shop. So go check it out and get an awesome marker. Yeah. And we will definitely have to think about new, some new colors for uh, the, shirts. the upcoming holidays. Yeah, Maybe, maybe something for for around the, the Christmas time frame. I do know we've kind of talked about some other things, so be looking at We may be offering some hoodies um, for the winter time. That's something I'll have to get a, a rough price on and we'll have to talk about, but we're, we'll definitely talk over the next uh, week or so um, about some other things we want to get on the shop. Um, Yay! That way. So, it, all right. other ways to, to generate income uh, for the podcast. Um and to get our swag out there. so Yes, our yeah, merch. It, as you can tell, Jeremy's already lost his lights. He can't have his lights on anymore. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> this is like the first time I can have my window open. It's not dark out. I can look out, see my beautiful <laughs> truck, and and it's cool outside. And I would have never in a million years guessed that there was a window right there. Ever. <laughs> no? Ever. No. Why? Because it, we always record in the dark. I never see like natural light beaming in. Yeah. But it's, now there's natural light beaming in. I would have never guessed. Six foot window. 
would have never we're, guessed. We're normally like those computer gamers that never see the light of day. That I, are know. All yeah. I know. Aciated. I know. Well, there will be. I'm. I'm. I'm looking at potentially um, redoing the the shop area um, or the shop area, the, the the office area. I'm not entirely sure. I've thought about moving like the dining room in here and and move my office back there a little bit. Um, or or kind of maybe getting a new desk. The desk I have is one I'm want to re kind of redo but i uh it, it's a little small to get like have my computer up here and to get work done um yeah you know process orders do stickers whatever it is like it, it's just uh, it's a little too cramped so i may be looking at getting a bigger bigger computer uh, or a bigger computer i can't get much bigger than this dang thing it's like a, <laughs> TV. Uh, yeah. get a, a, a bigger a bigger desk uh, maybe an l shape or something i mean and i know a lot of people are like oh why, why don't you build it because if you would see my list of things to build it I know. Will never get done. I know. Especially, I got <laughs> still you. waiting, still waiting on a dining room table. Yeah. Well, it, yeah. I, I was gonna give an update. Well, by the time they'll be listening to this, the, the benches will, at least the the bases will be complete. Um, I I took a day off to go get the wood for the top of the benches, and they were closed. So. <laughs> oh yes, and he let us know. Yeah. He let mm-hmm. us know. I was. I was <laughs> he mad. was furious. So that's for sure. Well, both of them so we have another like more local like um it's just one guy that kind of runs his own um lumber yard um and he was closed on friday as well and i was like crap like there's nowhere i can go to get to get lumber i was like so i'll have to put in the cards this coming week yeah it it will definitely it will definitely be done And, and the other thing is i can't find finish anywhere here and i can't get anybody to ship it to me What's um, finish? I need General Finish's dye stain. Um, I'll call my uh, boutique and see if they have it. See, and that's the problem with the boutiques is we have several places here, but because it's not considered a DIY finish, you know, it's not something you generally put over older finishes. Um, they without, don't have it. Yeah, because it's not something that people use for upcycling. It's not the gel stain. It's not the milk yeah. paint. It's a dye stain that you mostly put on raw wood. And I can't get it, so I'm either gonna have to like I'll look around drive for an hour and a half to go get it. I looked at Amazon, and I ordered it through Amazon, and it's been waiting and waiting for like two weeks to ship. And so I, I so I'm gonna have to do something. I don't know. I I don't have time to drive up to Columbia, which is an hour and a half away, on a weekend just to get one can of finish that's twenty dollars, yeah. and I'm spending fifty dollars in gas. Exactly. So sounds like you moved to the wrong place there, Jeremy. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Should have stayed in Texas. So <laughs> I do Woodcrafts and Rockler carry it. Rockler won't. Uh, Rockler doesn't offer it on their website to for for online sale, and um, I for some reason I, I tried to place it through Woodcraft and I couldn't get it for some reason through Woodcraft, but they carry it in stores. So it's like. I can go get it from a store, but I can't get anybody to ship the stuff to me. That stinks. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, buddy. And, and I've tried <laughs> three other what? finishes, and I, I'm not happy with the three other finishes I put on test pieces. So, like, nice. I, I want it done. It, it physically can't stop. Like, it, a product is stopping me from doing it. I want the thing done. We, we want it done for you. We want it done. I was just going to say, as much as you want it done, we want it done too. Yeah. So I, I, I may just have to take another day off of work and drive up to Columbia to get it. But I want somebody to go. Maybe I'll call the store first to see if they have it before I drive up there. Yes. Make sure they're open before you go. Yes. Make sure they have it and they're open and then yeah. go. Well, see, I didn't and say, I'll lumber, see you in an hour. I didn't figure my lumber supplier <laughs> yeah. would be closed. Because they're closed on Saturdays and Sundays. So I was like, oh, they'll be definitely open on a Friday. No, they were doing inventory. <laughs> you can't do inventory on Saturday or Sunday. Like, you're only open limited hours through the week and you're closed. Like, and they're like, oh, well, we're going to implement some other processes and systems. And I was like, I need five boards. <laughs> five boards. I will let you go pick them out if I can just come up there, pay for them, and put them in my truck and leave. Like, no, we can't. I'm just like, oh. I took a week off to get this stuff done, and the day I had scheduled to go do it, I couldn't get it done. And I, it, it, it bugs me. Like, it still bugs me. 
because I want to get it done. <laughs> we can yeah. tell. We can tell. All right, my, my rant's over. Your so ranting box is about broken. Your <laughs> All right. Well, uh, before we get off, we sincerely want to thank everyone for sticking with us for the entire 100 episodes that we have just completed. Um, it has been it, it's been a, an adventure, I, I'll say, in doing this for me, especially just because I had no intentions of doing it until Jeremy knocked on my door, basically, and. Uh, now it, I, I look forward to it each and every day, and I think with uh, Sam added as the third host, it just can't get any better. So uh, I, I am very thankful, and for for you listeners out there, there's going to be another hundred more coming at you. So uh, basically, from Jeremy, <laughs> Sam, and myself, we want to wish you guys well. If you have any information that you want to send us, go through email at kickback at woodshop101podcast.com. Or send us a voicemail at 409-234-3959. We are super interested in having these voicemails that have just reached our doorstep that will be on the next episode. Uh, So we can't wait for those. And we want to thank the ones that have uh, sent us any information, emails, voicemails, what have you. Uh, Thank you guys very much. So that pretty much wraps it up. So one, two, three. Boom. Boom. Boom.